Hey guys, Brent here for this week's Steam Culture, and you guessed it, we're going to be talking about the kettle, particularly that whistle that's on the end of the kettle that uh, is what we would call the steam whistle. Now, I didn't know this, but I found it on the internet where all information is good and reliable, as you know, right? Well, here's the deal. Nobody knew actually, or scientifically anyway, how that whistle worked on that thing until October of 2013 when two researchers from Cambridge University figured it out. And I want to tell you what they figured out. Now, I've got a couple of props here, quality props from our shipping and receiving department, all right, because this is the kind of budget we're working on. So each of these whistles have two plates on them, just like this, okay? And they have two, two holes in them like this. And what happens is when that water boils and turns to steam, it comes up the spout. Imagine a spout over here, which is bigger than this hole. When it hits that hole, it uh, restricts that steam and it comes out with some velocity like a little jet. Now, after it hits this hole, that jet, the farther it gets away from the hole, the uh, pattern gets kind of loose, kind of like, um, like in a water, uh, a water hose. Uh, after the nozzle, you know, it gets kind of loose and water droplets go everywhere. Well, as it does that in this scenario, it hits this second plate and creates what's called a pressure pulse. And then eventually it gets shoved through the second hole. And on the other side of that hole, it creates vortices. And that is what creates the sound, guys. So thanks to our friends at Cambridge University, we now know where the sound comes from. Now, why did it take so long to figure that out? Because the kettle's been around since like the turn of the century. Well, these guys work on things like the Human Genome Project and sequencing DNA. So maybe they just didn't have time to figure it out. But who cares? Now we know, right? Well, I'll see you next Friday on Steam Culture. Like the video, share the video, go to the YouTube channel, and subscribe to the video. See you next week.